The Oringa Novice Chase is next in. This is a three mile one furlong Novice Chase. The top one is Gates of Dawn for Leon Van Rensburg. The Horror of the Clowns, Joshua Sutherland, Jack of Clubs, Ryan Tamasebi, Swindy Home, James Shea, Blazing Last, John Morgan, Junk in the Trunk Ages, David Robertson, and Siram for Graham Clutterbuck. So that's your seven then. As the rain falls over Presbury Park and the helicopter ride continues around the truck uh, called in there now and away they go uh, jack of clubs and horror of the clans first out. we're going to take a look at them from the stand as you can see it's quite a long way to the first of the 20 fences in this one and horror of the clans is the clear leader now by a couple of lengths to jack of clubs and then swindy home in Sirearm and gates of dawn it's junk in the trunk ages and blazing lass after that one it's Horror of the Clowns, who settled down in the lead, and continuing this long, long run to the first, which is almost over. And they get to it now, and over it they go, and they all got over it okay. And let's hope we get a few more finishes than we did in the last chase, where a field of this similar sort of size ended up with just two finishes. And it's Horror of the Clowns in the lead, and as they get to the water, and nothing will fall at this one, and they all get over it okay. These are novices, so technically speaking, they should be worse jumpers than the ones that were in the other race. It doesn't always seem to work like that in the SO world. The novices tend to be better than the ordinary horses. They get over number three, and Horror of the Clowns is the leader. With Blazing Last, the grey move through into second. Sairam is third as they get to the fourth. And over that one they go with Junk in the Trunk Ages, just the back marker. And Horror of the Clowns settle down comfortably in the lead by five to Sairam second. Blazing last third, Swindy Home four. And they get up to Jack of Clubs and Gates of Dawn as they take that big ditch. With Chunk in the Trunk Age is the back marker. You can see the racing slightly downhill now. It's Horror of the Clans sets the pace and gets over fence number six. All jumping well so far. Six length lead to Horror of the Clans. Sirearm on the inside is second. The Grey Blazing Lass is third, Swindy Home. On the outside of those two is fourth. And a little bit of a gap to Gates of Dawn as they get over number seven. The junk in the trunk ages and Jack of Clubs disputing last place. The horror of the Clowns is clearing on his own in front. Seems happy to be in that position. Stood off that one but jumped it really well. They all got over it okay. But they all jumped it really well. I don't think anything's made a mistake yet as horror of the Clowns continues to lead on um, Sairam and Blazing Lass and then Swindy Home Gates of Dawn, Junk in the Trunk Ages and finally Jack of Clubs oh, Horror of the Clowns then past the ambulance it's over fence number 9 and there's the first real mistake we've seen was by Sairam and that one drop right back to third or fourth after that one as they come up then now and take the one that'll be the last on the next circuit in front of that big screen and it's horror of the clans who is in the lead then as they swing left-handed now then for one more circuit of the track so horror of the clans is in the lead then blazing last is second and junk in the trunk ages has moved through into third sirearm has recorded from that mistake in fourth and then swindy home is fifth gates of dawn is sixth and jack of clubs is the back marker then as they make the uphill climb towards the back straight and they'll race towards a plane fence and then the water with horror of the clans leading by three lengths to blazing last a clear second and three lengths clear of the remainder are headed by the second grade junk in the trunk ages mistake at the back there by jack of clubs has seen that one get itself detached from the rest of them by two or three lengths and as they come down towards the water jump and over that one a really big leap by the leader and horror of the clowns is two or three clear of blazing lass in second junk in the trunk ages third swindy home four then sire and then gates of dawn jack of clubs recoil from that mistake as they take this ditch over that one they go and horror of the clowns is still in front leading by a couple of lengths or more and as they get over that next one we see the whole field over it they're all over it okay with 
the back marker Jack of Clubs trying to close but it's Horror of the Clowns in the lead Horror of the Clowns is in front they're inside the final mile now Blazing Lass is second Junk in the Trunk Ages is third Swindy Home is still fourth as they call it this big ditch and over it they go and they all got over that one really well and Horror of the Clowns still appears to be going well in the lead Blazing Lass is stalking in second gap of three or four then to Swindy Home as they get over the 16th there's just four more to take now then and it's Horror of the Clowns racing downhill towards the fourth from home with Blazing Lass in hot pursuit in second gap back to Swindy Home and Junk in the Trunk Ages Gates of Dawn on the outside Sirearm under pressure Jack of Clubs looks to be going well but it's Horror of the Clowns over the fourth last bit oh there's a fall on there Junk in the Trunk Ages is gone Junk in the Trunk Ages is out of it and Horror of the Clowns is only in the lead by three quarters of a length now and this Blazing Lass comes through to challenge here comes Swindy Home and Gates of Dawn Sirearm and Jack of Clubs have got work to do they've got three to jump this is the third last and this time it was Blazing Lass down on her nose and it's now Gates of Dawn who's come to take it up Gates of Dawn then goes into the lead by a length to Horror of the Clown second Swindy Home third Jack of Clubs is running on in fourth Blazing Lass trying to recover from that mistake Sirearm looks beaten they've still got two to jump and it's Gates of Dawn in the lead for Grand National winning trainer Leon Van Rensburg Horror of the Clowns is now labouring back in second Swindy Home and Jack of Clubs are trying to run on but Gates of Dawn looks like it slipped the field over the second last jumps it really well gets away from it well 10 lengths clear and racing towards the final fence looking like he's just got to pop over it to take it and he does so and Gates of Dawn gets over it the only one in shot virtually as they race inside the final furlong which is probably the easiest one we've seen today and Gates of Dawn races up towards the line to take it by a good 8 lengths to Swindy Home who's going to be second it's going to be close for third as Blazing Lass is rallying for that place but Gates of Dawn takes it and Gates of Dawn to win a Swindy Home second Blazing Lass third Horror of the Clowns took on for fourth Jack of Clubs fifth and then back to Siren the last one to finish and a pretty impressive performance there and a big win again a big winning margin anyway makes you wonder why that one didn't go for one of the bigger races this week and Gates of Dawn takes it then so Gates of Dawn for Leon Van Rensburg the winner Swindy Home for James Shea second Blazing Last for John Morgan third Horror of the Clans for Joshua Sutherland fourth and Jack of Clubs for Ryan Tamaselli was fifth